In this video breakdown, I'm going to show you a two by two passing concept that is going to take a significant amount of advantage of popular adjustments that people like to run in particularly against trips tight end. Now this is, uh, again, a defensive system that most people like to run against trips tight end, and we're gonna try to take a little bit of an advantage of it in this video. Now, to do this effectively, I wanna give you a quick piece of advice here. You either wanna have a slot apprentice, hot route master quarterback, or what you want to do is be in the Detroit Lions playbook and utilize the play X spot uh, for the concept that we're going to be talking about. The reason why is because because of a motion we're going to do um, in trips tight end, it's going to create a concept that is going to open up a open up a part of the field that otherwise wouldn't be open if we didn't use the motion concept. So we're going to jump into that in just a second. If you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. It's free to subscribe. Um, we're on our road to 30,000 subscribers. That sounds crazy to say, but we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do that for me, please. Um, guys, we are a daily tips channel. We try to share how you can get better at Madden every single day, share different things like that. So uh, we try to just help in that regard. Um, also, if you haven't got my trip side in ebook, I have to tell you, I think it's I think it's the best trip side in ebook out there. Um, it, it, it spans uh, several years of me studying this formation. And the cool part about it is I've made a way for you guys to not only have access to the trip side in guide, but to also have access to all uh, 18 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, have updates for those guides uh, pretty much every single week so that you can always have the most up to date content. And I also have made a way for you to get any new ebook that I'll release in the future for just $10 a month. By joining my Patreon membership, you'll unlock everything over there. We've got 18 ebooks, a ton of exclusive updates and pro player film rooms, and we also have more stuff coming. So by being a member, you literally just get everything. Um, it's a way just to kind of give back to my members. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below for just $10 a month. You can unlock everything over there. Now, today we're going to talk about a quarter route play. Again, if you are in Detroit playbook, they have the play X spot. That's a great, it, it, it's, it accomplishes it without needing hot route master. However, the problem with Detroit is they don't have quick base. They don't have some of the things like that. That's why I like would rather have a slot apprentice, hot route master, something um, over on that side of the field. So uh, the way we're going to do this is I'm actually going to teach the concept two different ways. If you don't have um, Detroit playbook and you don't have hot route master, you can still run the same basic thing. But I want to teach it in two specific different, specifically different ways for two situational things. And it's primarily around the 30-yard cloud flat. So if your opponent is running a 30 yard cloud over on the right side, it typically is gonna come from the slot corner or the slot or the uh, outside corner. And what the basic concept is, is if we can get the corner to be inside or over the top of the corner route, it's gonna leave a window in which we can throw the corner against the cloud. So the way that we like to do this is I like to put Scotty Miller on a corner route I like to streak, seam streak, Chris Godwin. And then we're going to drag our tight end. We're going to curl our outside receiver. And then we're going to, um, you can leave the running back on a play action or you can put him to the flat. So you see, this is what it looks like. I want you to watch this corner out to the left. See how the cloud flat doesn't get out there. And that is something that makes this really, really effective. The cloud flat basically it glitches it out, essentially, if you will, um, and really makes it difficult for that to, to that to be able to guard it. So again, let me show you here. This is gonna be uh, cover two. And again, it's just very simple concept. But what I like about this, this is a two by two play that I love to go to because it looks like some of the other concepts. Notice the cloud to the corner doesn't guard it. Now, I wanna make something clear, and I'm gonna show you why this is important. Let's say that we go to cover two, and let's say that we run the play uh, PA slot corner and we use Miller as the streak and we use the th number three receiver as the corner That doesn't matter as much in practice mode, but in, in game mode it will matter You'll see here the cloud um, It doesn't defend it as well in practice mode But I'm just telling you from personal experience in game mode It does matter if they have 30 yard clouds because the cloud flat has outside leverage on that player Which is what makes it able to play good defense on that route combo. So if you aren't superstitious like me or whatever, you, you, you're you fine with living uh, on the number on that Godwin player, then just do it like this. That's fine. It will work probably for about 80% of the time. Um, the, the, the little inconsistency is, again, if they have a 30-yard cloud, which 
is, again, why I like to use the corner to the outside slot. So I like to set it up like this. And if you're in Detroit Playbook, you can because they have a corner route right here uh, on this player. Okay? So then all we're doing is just motioning over. We've got a drag to the tight end. We've got a curl right here. We want to snap the curl right there on the numbers. And then what you'll see here, again, is this corner to the left gets wide open against every coverage. Now, I like to live on the edge a little bit lately just because of how good I know offense is in this game. Um, if you want to, you can put the running back to the flat. The one thing I will say is if they send pressure at you, you want to make sure that running back's on a table route. And why do you want a table over an out? The reason why is because you can snap throw that against pretty much anything, and it, it's going to be fine for you. You could also make a good argument that it does make some sense to put the running back on um, to put the running back on a a wheel, uh, but I would rather just this. And now what you have is the curl as the check down. Now the number one route I throw on this play is actually the curl because here's what the defense is going to do, and this is also why I really like to put the outside slot on the corner. They're going to use with this guy. I'm just telling you from experience, they know the triple tight end offense, especially playing a good player. They know that the number three receiver is the player that does everything. So when you can make it be somebody else, such as the number two receiver in the trips, it makes all the difference in the world because they're going to go guard him. Now that guy's wide open, and look at that. I can actually throw that corner route into two different angles against the defense. The first angle I can throw it at is what you just saw, about a 20-yard corner route which will get underneath every zone in the game, by the way, or not every zone, but every 30-yard cloud zone for that matter. I then have a seam streak for pressure, but if I want to, I can pass lead that up and get that over the top of every zone in the game. So I've got multiple windows at which I can attack the defense. This is also the best defense, I will say, against this, ironically, is probably match coverage, but you still have your curl flat on the back end. So if I'm in match coverage, I want you to watch that corner. It's man-to-man. -man. It's basically man-to-man. -man. And that sharp-cutting corner out of this, out of the hot route master does a decent job at beating man-to-man. -man. So if I'm in just general basic man coverage, this is not a terrible defense for this. But if you watch that corner, it almost always will get separation, almost like a deep out. And that's what makes this offense so good is you have, um, you have stuff like this corner that can really help it. Um, you can, again, if you, if you really want to, and you, and you really, you know, whatever you can throw it to the number three receiver. Most of the time it's going to work just fine. There are little situations where it won't. And the reason why is primarily around the 30 yard cloud, which most people have to do that because most people know against trip side in that if you can play, if you play 30 yard clouds, it makes it a little harder to hit some of these deep crossers. So the beauty of this though, is they can't play 30 yard clouds against a concept like this they can't they can't they can't they can't now man coverage like i said it comes down to does he beat him the other thing about man coverage i want to quickly point out the other thing about man coverage i want to quickly point out to you in the few minutes we have left is your tight end your running back and your curl all will be fine the best route on the play is the curl by far the motion curl is the most underrated route of the game and if you wanted to you could okay you could turn this curl into a wheel and a dig like that that's fine too if you want to now you've got a dig coming over the middle um and and now this is like a lot of bunch concepts in terms of how it works but i love this play i need to run this play more in my offense i'm sure you do as well it's a great way to from a two by two set really put the defense in a position of, that they're going to struggle with and it's a great way to leverage some of the motion snapping of trips tied in to really throw the defense off guard. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get all my eBooks, um, the links in the description for the Patreon. Remember, remember Patreon is 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whenever you want. And by joining it, you get access to every eBook. I've got 18 of them, every update to every eBook. We've got over a hundred updates in there. And then also any new eBooks that we release while your membership is active. So thanks for watching 10 bucks a month. If you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video, click the link down there to go check it out. And we'll see you guys next time.